Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over a survivor pool puzzle, which uh, I think you guys would enjoy. Uh, for those of you that know, I mean, I'm very deeply entrenched in the survivor pool uh, industry, so to speak. I uh, do a lot of it with football, and this year I'm also doing it in the, uh, in the college basketball uh, bracket. And it makes for an extremely difficult challenge to get through these things because you need to make picks. Uh, you need to set up your bracket with your survivor pool so that you don't run out of teams. And we're going to get to an example of that as I go over where I'm, where I stand right now. And I'm putting this up on the site because I do think it's a very interesting intellectual challenge and an interesting puzzle for you guys to try to figure out. Um, uh, and it just goes to show how difficult this type of, uh, this type of contest can be. So let me just go over the rules. And then I'm going to give you the question and then I'm going to pause the video and then you can go ahead and, and see if you can come up with the answer. Then I'll go through the, the answer. So here are the rules. It's standard survivor pool in that you get to pick one, you know, you get to pick a team only one time. OK. Um, and it's just no spread. They just have to win. And once you pick them, you can't pick them again. And let me go over where it came from, actually, uh, the picks up until now. You had to make two picks on the first uh, day of the tournament when there was round of 64 that Thursday. Then you had to make two more picks, the round of uh, 64 on Friday. Then in the round of 32, you had to make, um, uh, you had to make uh, one pick on the Saturday. And then in the round of 32, you also had to make one pick on the Sunday. So to get down to the 16, you already had to use six picks. And where we're at right now is we are in the round of 16. And let me go over the rules, and then I'm going to go over who I picked already. In the round of 16, we have to make one pick from Thursday's games and one pick from Friday's games. Now, just to show you what those are, put the bracket up here. From the Gonzaga, Arkansas, Texas Tech, Duke, Arizona, Houston, Villanova, Michigan, you have to pick one team from there. Then on Friday, you have to make one pick from these four games, North Carolina, UCLA, producing Peters, Iowa, Miami, or Kansas Providence. Again, you have to pick from the teams that you still have available. We'll get into that in a minute. Then if you get your, for your four shots to survive, in the round of eight, the elite eight, you have to make two picks. So whichever is left, you have to make two picks on for the final eight. Now, those can be made from either day, you know, on Saturday or Sunday. For those four games, you have to pick two of them from, from two of them, and you can pick either Saturday or Sunday. In the final four, when you're down to just two games, uh, obviously you can only, you only need to make, make one pick. And then in the finals, you need to make one pick. Now, couple of assumptions. Number one, we are assuming that you need to go all the way through to the end to win. I mean, this, this pool started with a thousand people and it's down to about 80. And we're just going to assume based on previous results that you are going to have to get to the end. You're also going to presume there's no ownership considerations or anything like that. What I'm going to throw up here are the teams that I picked before. And I use the term throw up loosely because I'm going to throw up because of how badly I got to this point. And we're going to get to why in a minute, but I've already used the following Providence, Kansas, Purdue, Houston, Arkansas, and Texas Tech. So I cannot use those teams again. Okay. So once again, it's up here. We've already used Providence, Kansas, Purdue, Houston, Arkansas, Texas Tech. And again, these are the rules again. So you can keep them up here. You can pause the video or whatever you want. And here again are the brackets. You have to pick one pick from this, this bracket on Thursday. One of these four, you know, this bracket, one of these four, four games. And then from one of these four games on Friday. Now, again, this, just to show you way, the way the bracket works, the, this division, the final four, will end up playing this group in the final four. And this group will end up playing this group in the final four. And then the winners will you know, advance the finals. So the question is, well, I'll get to it. Hold on, I'll get to it in a second. I think you know what the question is going to be. I'm also going to pull up the lines for the relevant games. This is from DraftKings Sportsbook. 
Um, the Thursday games, you have Gonzaga, nine-point favorite, Villanova, five-point favorite, Duke, about to pick them, Arizona, Houston, about to pick them, uh, Purdue is minus 13 over St. Peter's, Kansas, minus eight. These are the Friday games. UCLA, minus two and a half, and Miami, minus two against Iowa State. So you can pause and look at these lines if you like as well. So very simply, the question is, how do I get to the end? Starting, and what is the best way to do it? Starting with, who do I pick Thursday? Who do I pick Friday? Okay? Who do you pick Thursday? And who do you pick Friday? And then, likewise, what options do you leave available for the for this Elite Eight and for the Final Four? I was considering giving you some hints, but I've decided not to. What I want you to do is come up with the answer, figure out what is optimal, think out why, okay? And then we're gonna go, and it's gonna take, it should take you a while. If it doesn't take you a while, then, then this is, then I'm doing it wrong, okay? But I'm gonna let you pause the video, take all the time you need, and when you come back, I'm going to give the answer. Now, if you want, if you can't come up with it, you can kind of like, you know, watch some of the video because I'll lead into the right answer. Like maybe like as the, as the video resumes, I'll start with the hints that I think are going to be necessary. Okay. So let's pause the video right now. And the next voice you hear, I'll start with the answers. Okay. So if you haven't figured it out yet by now, it's very important to have teams available, obviously. Like for example, if you used all four teams that are in the final four, let's start with, actually, let's start with the finals, right? Because you got to go all the way to the end. If you use both teams that are in the finals, then you have no pick and you lose, right? So what does that mean? That also means that in the final four, in the final four, if you used all four teams in the final four, then obviously you have no picks left and you lose. You can pause the video at any time if you feel as though that gave you a hint that you think that you should go back and, and, and do this again. Next thing you have to consider is it's not good enough to have, you know, one team available in the final four, right? You need to have what? You need to at least have two, right? Because two available, because what you need to be able to do is you need to make one pick on Saturday in the final four and then have another team ready to play against them in the finals. So it's not just having two, one team, four teams, one team available in the final four. You've got to have at least two teams available in the final four. But even that's not enough because you need to have the two team, at least two teams available on opposite sides of the bracket, right? It's not enough for you to have two teams available in the final four if they're just going to play each other in, in, the, in the final four game, right? So you need to have at least one team available to you from each bracket in the final four. So how does, how does that help you? Do you want to pause for a minute? Well, I want you to think about this also. If that's what you need, you need to have at least two teams available in the final four on opposite sides of the bracket. But remember, how do you get teams in the final four available to you? Well, you either have to pick these available, pick, you have to, how do teams get to the final four, right? In this bracket, you either have to pick them in the final eight or they have to just get to the final eight. Right. Or from the final eight. Right. Because remember, we have to pick two teams in the final eight. They have to either you have to either pick them to get to the final four or you have to just watch them get to the final four. Well, what's the difference? The difference is, is that if you are going to get a team to the final four by picking them right in round eight, then you're not allowed to pick them again. So what you need is you got to figure out. Which teams you're going to send to the final four and which you hope are just going to be there because it's important to have the ones that are going to be there that are available to you because then you can use them right so what that means is you're setting up from these brackets right what that means if you want to pause again 
is that in the final eight, your two picks, okay, you need to you need to pick one final eight game from each side of the bracket, right? You can only pick two. And if you end up taking two teams from either side of the bracket to get to the final four, you're screwed because now you have nobody to play in the final four. So going back to the final eight, right? You need to figure out how to get two teams available in the final four either, and they can't be ones that you send there, right? So you have to get the teams in the final four. You have to send two teams to the final four by picking them. And then you also have to two other have to have two other teams at least waiting for them, right? In the final four for you to be able to use. Okay. But does that help you? It might. So if that helps you, maybe pause and then maybe go after it again. Okay. All right. So now I think we're going to start uh, going through kind of what we need to do here. Okay. So if you haven't figured it out yet, there's a couple of issues. And the reason why I considered, I said throw up is because, well, I mean, got unlucky a little bit, is that I used both Kansas and Providence. Okay. So the problem is this is that I can't use Kansas or Providence. One of them is gonna be in the final eight, right? Right, one of them is gonna be in the final eight. So the problem is, is that I can't use a team that's going to play them in the final eight. And we're gonna to get to why in a little bit. Okay. So let's take a look at some of these games. Let's first take a look at the Friday games because that's probably what's most important. So the Friday games, we have a choice between these four games, Kansas Providence, Iowa State, Miami, Purdue St. Peter's, and North Carolina UCLA. So who can we take? Well, since we're idiots and we use Kansas and Providence, we can't take them. So that, that's, that's good. We could take uh, either Miami or Ohio State, we can pick one of them. We already used Purdue, so we can't play them, and that would be nice. They're a 12 point favorite. I guess you could take St. Peter's, you don't want to, they're a 12 point underdog. Or you could take North Carolina, UCLA. Okay. So let's see if, if, if we can eliminate some of these teams. So here's the problem. Uh, Iowa State, Miami. Why can you not take Iowa State or Miami on Friday? Let me pause and think about that. Tell me why you cannot pick Iowa State and Miami. Well, the reason why is if you take them, now you have, and they, let's say they win, obviously. Now you have two teams, regardless of whether Cancer Providence wins, that are in the final eight. That you can't use. Okay. So what you're going to have is you're going to have the inability to use them in the final eight. And then what's going to happen is one of them is going to be in the final four. Right? You can't use them. And remember what we said is that you've got to pick two teams from the final eight. You've got a big two team, two, two, two picks, and one of them's got to be from each side of the bracket. So you since you can't play this one, right? Because you ran out of teams playing Iowa State, Miami in Sweet 16. Then you're relegated to play somebody from up here to get to the final four to satisfy that rule, and then you're dead, right? Because once you pick one of these teams, you can't play them again, and then you're stuck in the final four with two, with, with two teams you've already used. So you're automatically dead. So that's why Miami, Iowa State, you cannot play either of them, okay, on Friday. 
So we've got a problem now, right? So now we, we can't play Kansas province, we use them both. We can't play Iowa State, Miami for the reason I just mentioned. So now you're down to either playing North Carolina or UCLA, you have them both available as whatever, two point favorite. I presume you wanna take UCLA, two point favorite. Or God forbid you have to play St. Peter's, right? It's a 13 point underdog because you can't play Purdue because you already used them. So which of these do you take? Well, you'd like to think that you don't wanna take St. Peter's. <laughs> um, you'd like to think you don't wanna take St. Peter's because they're a 13 point favorite, right? You'd like to think that you would wanna take the North Carolina UCLA game because it's safer. But, but here's the problem. If you take, and what you want, you want to pause for a second, you can think about what the problem is. Okay, here's the problem. If you take North Carolina UCLA as your Friday, the issue is, is you're going to need St. Peter's to win anyway. Remember why? Same thing as from over here. You can't have used all of your availability by we by the elite eight over here if you use north carolina and then let's say purdue wins then you're out of teams over here you can't pick from this game for the final eight so as i said you have to pick from one of these guys and let's say you're lucky enough to get through then you're at a team in the final four so it'd be nice to play north carolina but the problem is you need St. Peter's to win anyway. And then you're relegated to obviously to playing St. Peter's, right? Or needing St. Peter's to win yet again in the final four. <laughs> I mean, in the final eight. Um, so what you have to do, unfortunately, is you must play St. Peter's. Because okay, this way, you could play St. Peter's, save this UCLA North Carolina, uh, UCLA game, right? And then they become a team that's available in the final eight, which you have not played yet, as opposed to taking North Carolina first, having Purdue win and running out of teams, okay, where you're going to need St. Peter's to win anyway. So the Friday game, you have to take St. Peter's. As gross as that sounds, there's literally no other mathematical way to do this, okay? So now, moving back to Thursday. So what do you have here? So what you have is you are fading Iowa State Miami, okay? You're obviously gonna hope that they do something here, but we'll get to that in a minute. You're fading North Carolina, UCLA, hoping they do something here, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now let's go back to Thursday. So Thursday, there are some issues, but there are some, some, not, some, some benefits for what we've done up here. The bad news is this. We've taken Arkansas and we've, played, we've taken Texas Tech, right? We've taken Houston and we haven't taken anybody from Michigan. So, so here's the... The issue is, well, first, the, the good news is you can, you can pick one of these four teams, okay? They're, uh, these favorites. Uh, well, Gonzaga, Arizona, Villanova, Texas Tech, Duke is a pick, whatever it is. Um, but here's the thing. If you take Gonzaga, right? If you take Gonzaga, you're going to need Duke to win anyway. Why? Why is that? Same issues as the bottom. You can't have two teams make the final eight that you've used already. Okay? You can't have two teams make the final eight that you've used already. So if you play Gonzaga, which seems reasonable, you're going to need Duke to win anyway because you've already used Texas Tech. And likewise, let's say you want to get fancy and you want to play Duke, right? Whatever. It doesn't matter. You're still going to need Gonzaga to win anyway. Okay. Otherwise, you have two teams you played already in the final eight, which you can't have. So what you need to do 
rather than rely on two things happening, is you have to play one of these guys. Now, going back to what we said, we, we saw that we already played Houston. So same issue. If you played Villanova, then you would need Houston to lose anyway, right? If you played Villanova, you need Arizona win anyway. Otherwise, again, same problem. You use Houston, you use Villanova, you're dead. So what you need to do is you need to play Arizona because this Villanova, Villa, Michigan, you have both teams available to you, okay? So you're not relying on two results as if you played either Gonzaga or Duke on the other side. So what you do is you play Arizona, then you fade Vill uh, Michigan Villanova, and then you then you could do some business in the final. Okay. So anybody get that all that right? Tough stuff, right? So what are we doing? We're playing St. Peter's. Saving UNC North Carolina. We're playing Arizona, saving Michigan Villanova, and saving all of this stuff. Okay. Now, if Arkansas and Texas Tech both win, guess what? We're dead. Right? Same thing. You can't have two teams you haven't played in the final eight. Because you can't play them in the final eight because you use them. And you can't play the other team in the final eight, because you don't have anyone to play against in the final four. Okay. So you're hoping that both Gonzaga and, and Duke, or at least one of them win to give yourself a little flexibility with what you can do in the final eight. Okay. Now St. Peter's going to be here. The good news is, is you're going to have this monster play here, whether you be, you know, the, the winner of North Carolina, UCLA, let's say, you know, whoever that is, is going to be a big favorite over St. Peter's. So you could either end up using them, hoping to have one of these remaining Dukes or Gonzaga's advanced that you could use in the final two, or the opposite. Or you could, you're going to need them both anyway, right? So Gonzaga and then root for UNC North Carolina. Okay. And again, over here, we are using Arizona keeping Michigan Villanova available to maybe use against Arizona in the final four, I mean, the final eight, or using Iowa State, the winner of that game against Kansas in the or Providence in the final eight as well. And that's how you get to the final four with at least two that are actually available. And Yes, there, I have another entry, which is a little easier to deal with. But when you don't pay attention to the bracketology of what you're doing, well, I shouldn't say not pay attention. I mean, I was hoping that the Providence would lose. Right? That would be that I'd pick them and they'd lose or something like that. So I wouldn't have this issue that maybe I'd have somebody else that I could, you know, that that uh, um, that I, I would that I would be able to knock out cans or something like that. So I screwed it up. But. I do have that one path left available. If we were able to get that answer, it's really tough. But that's it. <laughs> Go St. Peter's. <laughs>